guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a timer that counts down in Visual Basic 2008. So, again, this is counting down, and I'll probably make another video on how to do counting up and other stuff like that. But, uh, for this program, you're going to need four basic buttons. You're going to need a label button, which I renamed Time, and I also deleted all the text from it so it's just a blank it's invisible until uh, a number is uh, sectioned off of it I have a text box I have a start button and I have a timer uh, very simple so um, go ahead and arrange those how you like when you do uh, we can start coding so the first thing we need to do is double click our start button and um, Pretty much what we want our start button to do is just check for a few things. We want to check to see, to make sure if the text box has a number in it, and then to tell, tell it what to do. So the code we're going to use is similar to another um, tutorial I made on searching things. I think I made that tutorial. I don't even remember. But it's the if not function. So it's just if not is numeric then uh, of text box one we tell it what to te check we want it to check text box one dot text then then it'll display a message box that says please enter a value and that's done and to counter this if uh if this doesn't work then if there is a number in it then we will tell it to start the timer which is timer one dot enabled enabled is is true and we also want to tell the timer uh, how many what increments to use and every one thousand is one second and I'm gonna use one second and you could use five thousand or four thousand or whatever you want so it'd be timer one dot interval is one thousand and the final thing we need to do is we need to tell the label what to display so we want in this case I renamed it time so time dot text is equal to text box one dot text all right there we go so we check in to see if there's a number if there is we'll turn on the timer so if we go back we need to double click on the timer or just go down here and in this we just need to tell the timer what to do if it hits zero or if it hasn't hit zero so we need to check. So we check based on whatever the label is because the label is the one counting down. So if time dot text equals zero, then um, we want the timer one dot enabled. We want this to be false. So just turning off the timer, and we want to display a message box that says time is up so close that and of course we'll do our else if if it's not hit zero yet what we want it to do is we want to tell it to keep going so we want um, we want the label which is time for me again we want the label to keep counting down so we'll just set it equal to itself and be one less so time one dot text equals time one dot text minus one so there we go let's pray that this works because that would be awesome so we'll type in a number let's go three start that up two one bam message box so pretty cool uh it just counts down i'm not going to do any um other things for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Tech. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something. That's